Thank you for calling in today, James. Thanks, no problem. How have you been? I've uh, been all right. Okay. Um, anything new going on or anything like that? Not really, just same old, same old, just school and, and stuff like that. Okay. How's school going? Uh, not too good. Not too good? No. Well, what's going on with school? Uh, I'm just really behind right now. Mm -hmm. And I just don't have a lot of just motivation to get my work done and just been kind of lazy and just don't really don't really want to do my work I guess. Well before we go any farther with that I just want to remind you about confidentiality. Okay. Everything in that we talk about in here stays in here between the two of us except for three different reasons and that's if I hear of Elder abuse or neglect, child abuse or neglect, or I hear you harming yourself or others. Okay. So you're saying that you're really behind on school and everything. Yeah. Um, is there anything that's pretty much it, like promoting it or causing it? Uh, I just don't really feel like doing it. Mm-hmm. And I've just been busy with football. and. Okay. So that's kind of taken up a lot of time. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I just don't really have motivation to do anything. Okay. Is it okay if I take notes today? Yeah. Okay. So you've been busy with football? Yeah. And after football, you don't really have the motivation to do your schoolwork? Yeah, I'm just real tired by the time football's over. By the time I'm out of practice, I'm just real tired and I don't feel like doing anything. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you're just staying super busy and... You just don't have energy then by the time your day's over to do your work and yeah. get everything you need to done. Yeah, I just don't yeah, I just don't feel like doing anything. Is there anything that helps like drive you to do your schoolwork more than any others? Not really. I don't really I don't really have any drive. Um, okay. That's always hard. Um, so, with your busy schedule between school and football, how would you describe a typical day that you have? Um, like any day. Any day. Um, well, my Mondays, I wake up at 6.20, and I lift from about 6.45 to... 7, 15, and I get done, and I have class at 8, and then after class, I go to breakfast, and then I have class at 10 to 10.50, and then I have lunch at 11, and then I have a break between 11 and about 3. 3.20, and then I'm in practice till about 5.45. Okay. And then what do you do after practice? Uh, I go eat and then shower and get dressed and by the time I'm done with all that, it's, it's probably about s seven maybe. Mm -hmm. so. And then after that, you go straight to bed, or? Um, sometimes I'll go to the library and try to do my work, but I don't get much done. Mm -hmm. How long would you say you stay in the library till? Um, uh, maybe about an hour, an hour and a half. Alright, so you'd say before nine years back to your dorm room? Yeah. Yeah. And then you go to what do you do once you're back um, there? Um when I get back I usually just I'll lay in bed or eat or something and then I'll watch a movie and then watch T V and then just go to sleep. Okay. You do have a super busy schedule. And 
It sounds. It looks like though you have some breaks though like, during the day even and stuff. Yeah. Do you do anything during those breaks, or do you just take it easy? Um, after lunch I usually go to sleep mm-hmm. till meetings, and then I go to practice. Okay. But. And then when you're lifting in the morning, is that for football as well, or is that mm-hmm. for for football? If you could just take like this date and transform it to how you want, how you'd like it to be, like maybe mm-hmm. to get your homework done more or anything like that, how would you do that? Well, I wouldn't have lifting in the morning. Mm-hmm. I'd, I'd leave my classes the same, obviously. Mm-hmm. I can't change that. But I would just, in practice, I really can't get around, but maybe I'd move that to the end of the day, like at night. Mm-hmm. That would be nice, but I, I wish I didn't have practice so I could work on my schoolwork, but... Okay. So you'd pretty much just get rid of your entire football schedule from the sounds of it. Mm-hmm. Or you'd move everything to where you have it all at night. Yeah. And then when you're at the library, do you have any like driving forces that help you get your some of your work done? Hmm. Not really. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, but not not really. Okay. I mean, sometimes I, I'll do it. If it's really overdue. Mhm. But. Usually, I, usually I don't. Okay. So it looks like, so you just you need something. Even just it sounds like to help motivate you. You need, you need to get your motivation back. Yeah. Is that what you're wanting? Or? Yeah, I just don't want to do anything. Mm-hmm. Have you maybe tried anything different or tried to have any considerations on how you could do that? Um, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't really want to even think about it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Don't really want to put in the effort. So this is a big stressor for you? Yeah. Yeah, it really is. And is there anything else that's stressing you at all? Um, is there anything else going on? Not really, just just those things and pretty much it, I guess. Mm-hmm. And maybe, I don't know, my friends, I guess. Can you tell me more about that? Um, I just... I don't really feel like they're my friends sometimes. And what makes you think that? Um, just kind of the person that gets picked on in the group, I guess. And I don't feel included. And can you tell me more on what you're thinking when you say that? When I'm not included? When you're not included and when you're the one that like you feel like you're getting picked on. Uh, it just kind of makes me sad. Mm-hmm. Because they're supposed to be my friends. Right. I mean, it just, yeah, it just makes me sad and just kind of gets me down. And I don't really, t- really want to talk to anybody mm-hmm. after that. It sounds like it'd be really hard. It's been going on for like an hour. And so, yeah. when you, you say they don't include you in things, what exactly do you mean by that? Do they go do things without you? Yeah. They'll all go out to eat or something or hang out their house and I won't get an invite and I'll find out that they're all together and and that they didn't invite me and it just makes me sad. Mm-hmm. Have you um, tried to like say anything to them about it or anything like that? No. Mm-hmm. No, I, I just kind of let it go, I guess, and hope that it gets better next time. Mm-hmm. Is there anybody that you know you can count on that this won't happen with? Any mm. people outside of your friends group? Any family members? Well, my, my brother, I guess. And which brother is that? Uh, the youngest one, Joel. And he, so he, well, how does Joel? When you're around Joel, how does that make you feel? I don't know. It's just kind of easy, and I don't, I don't feel, I guess, judged mm-hmm. around him and. I can be myself and 
and I know he will he will not include me in things mm-hmm. because he always wants to hang out with me. Mm-hmm. And you want to always hang out with him? Yeah, he's he's one of, one of my best friends. Okay. So Joel's um, a pretty solid figure in your life. Then. Yeah. You guys count on each other a lot. It sounds like. Mm-hmm. Is so when you and Joel are together, what kind of things do you guys do? We go see a lot of movies. That's kind of our thing. We do that a lot. Mm-hmm. But just mostly just hanging out, home over. I don't know, just just whatever. Do you? It sounds like you like watching movies a lot too. Right? Mm-hmm. What kind of movies do you like watching? Um, just anything, comedies. So, would you say you use movies as a coping mechanism? Um, I mean, I guess. I just don't really have to think about anybody. Mm-hmm. I don't really think about my problems. Okay. So, is there anybody else that you can even just count on when you're feeling sad or down? Um... I don't know, my mom's always there, mm-hmm. but I don't really like talking to her about my problems. Is there any reason for that? I don't know, I just, she never really seems to listen. You don't think she seems to listen? Why do you say that? Because uh, she was always kind of distant when when I was growing up. Okay. Like, with me and my siblings, and she would just kind of not really ignore you, but... If you tried to tell her something about something that was going on in your life, she just wouldn't give you much feedback. Okay. Just kind of nod her head and, and agree with you, but mm-hmm. I don't know. I just don't feel like she was listening. So it's more like she's got open ears, but it's not. She's full on yeah. attentive to what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Would you say, though, that you can still count on your mom if you needed mm-hmm. to call her? Or? Yeah, I think so. So it sounds like football's a big stressor of yours, Mm -hmm. along with school. With that, which one would you say is a bigger stressor to you? Probably school. School. Mm -hmm. So, with school being your main stressor, how long would you say that that's been going on for you? Uh, Just really when I started. I mean, it's it's been stressful since high school, but Mm -hmm. it's been really really stressful in, in college. <clears throat> so all your college years this has been going on. Yeah. And okay, so then have you ever talked to anyone before you've never talked to anyone before about this, correct? Mm-hmm. No. Okay. So have you ever had any history like of mental health issues ever? Have you ever been diagnosed with anything? No. Or had any, like, had any history of anything going on in the family or with your family? Um, no, not that, I, not that I know of. Okay. And have you had any current or past diagnosis of even substance abuse? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you use any substances? Okay, what, and you tell me what those are? Uh, I, I drink. And, and I smoke occasionally. And you sm- say you smoke. What are you smoking? Um, marijuana. And how often would you say that you drink? We'll start with that first. Uh, at least every weekend. Every day? So Friday, Saturday? Oh, no. Or? No, usually just Saturday nights. Just one day. Mm-hmm. I don't really have time to during the... I don't have time during the weekdays. Okay. And when you drink on Saturday nights, how often is that usually? Like, how much? Um, well, last weekend I had about a fifth to myself, and I almost drank it all. And what were you drinking? Vodka. Is there any reason that you decided to drink, or anything that drives you to do so? It's kind of fun. Mm-hmm. If we get angry, I'll start drinking. And do you normally drink just vodka? Yeah, usually. Sometimes I'll drink rum. So, how often would you say you smoke marijuana? Um, probably, not very often, probably twice a month, every other week, I guess. I don't know. 
And is there any reason that you do that? I mean, it's fun too, but mm -hmm. sometimes when I'm tired of drinking alcohol, I'll smoke. Just because I don't get the hangover and all that stuff with it. Do you also do this when you're angry as well? Uh, it just kind of depends. I, usually, if, if I'm smoking, I'm kind of sad. And can you, so you said the last time you drank was last weekend. Mm -hmm. When would you say the last time you smoked was? Oh, uh, last night, actually. And you were saying last week how you didn't have a primary care physician, but you um, had a physical exam approximately a year ago, correct? Mm -hmm. Do you take any medications that have been prescribed by a doctor? Um, no. And so is there anything in your family or in your environment that could have an impact on what else has been going on with your stress and everything? With your school, schooling, your main one, correct? Mm hmm Is there anything else? My friends, I guess. Cool. Friends. Would you consider football one of them? It is. Mm -hmm. I, I guess, yeah. Okay. And can, anything else? Anything at home or anything like that? Mm, I don't think so, really. Okay. Would you say anything that's going on in today's society that is helping influence any of this or impacting you? Like, is anyone encouraging is it like the college life that encourages you to drink or anything like that? um for example that's probably why why i started drinking uh-huh because i never drank in high school mm -hmm. i only started smoking because i was just really was really depressed one night and when you say you were depressed what was causing that at the time or what what do you mean by that um i mean a lot of it has to do with my friends but I did. Well, my girlfriend broke up with me during that time, mm -hmm. too. So. And when would you say you started smoking? Then? Uh, probably my s sophomore year. So about. A couple of years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. And you were having a really hard time with the breakup. It sounds like. Yeah. Those aren't easy to go through at all. No. It sounds really hard. And you still think about that to this day? Yeah. And does your Christianity affect any of this at all? Yeah, so. Um, is your Christianity have a positive influence on everything that's been going on, including, like, does it help with your stress? Does it help impact if you're, what you're doing? Uh, maybe sometimes, a little bit. When I actually focus on it. So you don't always focus on it, though? No, it's just kind of been on the back burner in my life, I guess. Okay. With that, what are some things that are strengths of yours that help you get through with your stress and getting your homework done? All of that. Mm, I don't think I really have any. Well, everyone's got strengths. I mean, you do. So... There's all different things. I mean, one of your strengths is you've got a good relationship with your brother, right? Yeah, I guess so. And how are you doing in school? I'm all right. All right. If I don't catch up, I'm going to have bad grades. Is there anything that motivates you to get your work done? No. Oh, you're here today, right? Yeah. And you've made it to your appointment on time, you know? Yeah. But there's a strength. You're still making it to places. Do you still go to class? <clears throat> I do, but sometimes I skip. Mm -hmm. So the days you do go to class, so that's a strength that you have to where you still, although you don't want to do your work, you're driving, you're, for, you're making yourself still go to class. Yeah. So. It's really hard, though. Mm -hmm. You're part of, you're still part of football. Mm -hmm. And so you're making it work with your time, though. Like, you're make, you have your time planned out that you know you have to be at your obligations. Yeah. Um, so you're not you don't drink on school nights, right? No. Sometimes when football's over but but no. If football's in season I don't. So you don't drink during the week for football? Right. There's a strength because you know your football your game's very important. Mm. So you're finding you know there's importance in that and you don't want to deflect that.
Yeah. With those examples, are there anything that you can think of yourself? Yeah. I don't really know. Well, there's some. We'll work on that. We'll keep working on that. And we'll keep fu- pulling out and finding more. So, Joel, to support system. That's one of your big strengths. Yeah. Are there, and then you're, you watch movies. Mm-hmm. And use that as a way of just getting away from things and taking a step back for a little bit. Mm-hmm. That can be, that's a good strength. That way you know you have something you can take a step back away from what's right. going on. Are there any barriers that you can see in your way of getting in the way of you reaching your success? Any obstacles or your family or anything? Just trying to get over this girl. Is she your girlfriend? Is there anything that helps you with that? Drinking. Any other barriers that you could see in your way? Is your workload at school too large? Probably. But even when the school's over, I don't know if I'll be able to get over it. And so this is constantly running through your mind, it sounds like. Yeah, every day. And we will definitely keep that in mind. And we'll work with being able to help you do that as well. We'll work on it and find ways that'll help you cope and work out. So it's, so we've gone through a lot today. We've gone over what your typical day is like that has a lot of your stressors in it. The things that go through your mind even, including getting over her and your schoolwork and then how your friends make you feel. We've also found like the good things, how movies help you get away from what's going on for a little bit and just keep your mind off of things and you have a good support system, including your brother Joel, and you know you can call your mom if need be mm-hmm. and that she's there for you. And we've um, just discussed different things that influence you to in different aspects of your life. And the strengths and barriers that are helping you reach your goals are, and we'll keep exploring those and we'll keep finding better ways to go through with that. There's one last thing though that I do need your help with before we leave. And I'm having to do what's called a genogram. And a genogram is, it's kind of like making, building up your family tree. And this just helps me get to know, get a sense of who your family is and how everyone is placed. All right, so squares equal, uh, represent the males in your family and circles represent the females. So we'll start with you and then your brother Joel's younger than you, correct? Mm-hmm. So then there would be Joel. We'll put those together. There's your mom, correct? Yeah. And then your dad, but the, they're divorced, am I right? Yes. Okay. And that's why I just put those two lines there. Because it shows that they were once married and that's how you and Joel came about, but that you they are not together anymore. Is there anyone else that I'm missing? Um, I have five other siblings. Mm-hmm. We can put those. And you want to tell me who those are? Um, do you want the order from oldest? Yeah, we can do that. Uh, Andrea. Okay. And then David. Okay. And Stephanie. And Joanna. Okay. And Catherine. Okay. And then you're not as close with all of them, and they're not. Mm-hmm. Correct? Yeah. No. So I'll actually just put a circle around your mom, you, and Joel. And that shows that you guys are all closer. And those are probably the main people that we're going to be, like, keeping you connected with and everything like that. Do you have any questions for me or anything like that today, James? Um, I don't think so. Well, I appreciate you coming in, and I will work something out to where both of our schedules can mesh together and we can meet up again next week, if that works for yours as well. Sure. Thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it, and we'll keep, we'll make sure we get you on the track to feeling better, all right? All right thank you. Thank you.